Okay, so in this video, we're going to focus on VAT, which stands for value added tax. But before we move on to VAT, we need to move on to, or we need to have a look at percentages, because VAT is always expressed as a percent of a bill or a service or something that you paid for. So we need to find out how to get a percentage of something before we have a look at VAT. Okay, now the word percent translates into per 100. Okay, so if we want to find, let's say, if we want to find 20% of something, let's say 20% of 60, right? What we do is we divide 60 by 100 because that's going to give us 1% of 60. So if we do that, 60 divided by 100, okay, we get 0 0.6. Now then if we multiply that by 20, well that gives us 20% of 60. So if we multiply that by 20, we get 12. Okay, so 20% of 60 is 12. Okay. That's the kind of long-winded way of doing it, but that's the theory behind it. The handier way of working it out. So let's have another example. Let's say we had, let's take the same example again. Okay. So what we did was we divided 60 by a hundred and then we multiplied it by 20 and we got 12. Okay. Another way of writing this. So if you go back to the video about multiplying fractions together, this is the exact same as 60 times 20 over 100. Okay, now 20 over 100, if you put it into your calculator, is 0 0.2. And what that is, that is 20% in decimal form. Okay, so if you ever want to convert a percentage to a decimal, you just have to divide by 100. Right. But if we work that, so we put that in the calculator, it gives us 12 again. Okay, so really what I'm saying by this is if you want to find a percentage of something, convert the percent into decimal form. And then multiply. Okay, so here we convert 20% into decimal form, we multiplied, we got the same answer, right? And that is going to come in handy, converting percent into decimal form, um, when we look at margin and markup in a later video. Okay, so let's have an example of one of our question that is to do with VAT. So a bill for a meal came to 177 euro and 50 cent, excluding VAT. What is the price of the meal if VAT is charged at 9%? So VAT stands for value added tax, and it's this tax that the government apply to most goods and services. Okay, so um, you normally see it at the bottom of your receipt. So it's just a, it's just a government tax that they add on and normally comes in some sort of percent. So normally that's quite a low percent. Normally VAT be around 20 percent. Right. But this is the cost of the bill without VAT. So whoever ate this meal, this isn't how much they're paying. They have to pay the VAT on top of that. So that's our job. We need to find out what 9 percent is of this and then add it on. Okay, because VAT is charged at 9%. Okay, 9% as a decimal, so divide 9 by 100 and you get 0 0.09. And then in order to get 9% of this, we just multiply by the decimal form of the percentage. So 77.50 times 0 0.09. Okay, again, perfectly okay to divide by 100 and multiply by 9, that's the, or multiply by 9, that's the exact same thing. Okay, 
Okay, and that's equal to 15.98. And the last thing you have to do in order to find the total cost of the bill, including VAT, is you just add the cost of VAT onto the original price. So plus 15 euro and 98 cent. And you get 193.48. And that is the price of the bill. Including that. Okay. Now, this next one is slightly different. So John bought a laptop for 516 euro and 60 cent which was including VAT. So this time that VAT is already included in this price and the VAT is 23%. Find the original price. Okay, so when I'm writing original price, I'm just gonna write OG price, because I like shorthand. So the OG price of the laptop before VAT was added. Okay, so the first thing you have to realize about this 516 euro and 60 cent, that's equal to 100% of the OG, so the original cost price, or I'll just say the original price so I don't get confused with selling price and cost price. So it's the 100% of the original price plus 23% VAT. But VAT is always a percentage of the original price. So that's 23% of the original price. Okay. So those are the same, they're the same kind of thing. It's 100% of the original price, price plus 23% of the original price. So this 516 euro and 60 cent, that's equal to 123% of the original price. So we need to find out for the first part, they just want the original price. So we are looking to find this. Okay, now what we can do for this so I'm just going to equate 516 to 123%. Okay. What we can do with this is we can find out what 1% is equal to. And then we can multiply it by 100 because that will give us the original price. Right. So let's do that first. So what I'll do here is I want to get 1% on this side. So I'll divide this side by 123 because that will leave me with 1%. But I've let this 516 euro and 60 cent equal 123% of the original price. So this is an equation. So as you know from the balancing method, what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I have to divide this by 123 as well. Okay, let's see. Um, 516.6 divided by 123. Okay, and I got four euro and 20 cent. So four euro and 20 cent is equal to 1% of the old or the original price. Okay, now to find out what 100% is, I'm going to multiply this side by 100 because if I do that that's going to leave me with 100% on this side but again it's an equation what we do to one side we do to the other and so that means that 420 euro was equal to 100% of my original price so that was the original price of the laptop before tax so the price or not sorry not tax that. So the price excluding that. And that's the answer to part one. Right. Part two then asks you to find the VAT paid on the laptop. Right. So I know what 1% is. I said I found out that four euro and 20 cent was equal to 1% of the OG price. 
and I know that that was 23% of this original price. So what I can do here is I can just multiply this side by 23 to get 23%. And again, I do the same to this side because I want to keep it balanced or else my equation is no longer legit. Right, and so for that, I got 96 euro and 60 cent. Okay, so that was the VAT paid. Alternatively, what you could have done was you could have said, well, this is the price, price including VAT. We found out the original price, so you could have just said, okay, well, the price including VAT, which was 516 euro and 60 cent, minus the original price, which we found out here, that will leave me with whatever the VAT was. And if you put that in, you'll get the exact same amount. Okay, so when you're dealing with problems to do with VAT, you need to be able to find VAT if the price you're given is including VAT or excluding VAT. So do basically you need to be able to do the two questions, just demonstrate.